Hi guys, long time no see. It's been like a week since my last video and I've been watching like my previous videos and <laughs> I noticed that in some of them I actually stumble and mumble and everything else and somehow they get more views than the ones that I put extra care into. And since it's been a week, I actually have nothing because the job that I'm working on takes literally like all of my time. Like you have the eight hours there, but then I have like an hour of commuting and after that another hour of going back. So I waste 10 hours and because I have like early mornings, it means that I have to go to sleep at very early hour. But at the same time, they expect me to wake up at like 4.30 or like 5 a.m. So I can go to the bus. But when I want to go to sleep and actually get enough sleep, like 8 hours, that means that I have to go to sleep at like 7 p.m. But the sun is still out there and I literally can't just go to sleep while, while the light is on. And I don't have blinds that actually like work the way you expect where I would have like entire dark room. So I basically wasn't sleeping well enough to all this like week and I had to even work on Saturday. I mean, I, I said at the job that, hey, I, I want to work at Saturdays, but it was on uh, Monday. So I said that on Monday that I wanted to work on Saturdays without even working a single day there. And I worked like two, maybe three days and I actually was burnt out already and I didn't want to go to, to this Saturday but I still had to so I didn't have Saturday right now it's Sunday and I just woke up and went straight to recording this video because as I said I don't really have much time I mean I have like um, after afternoon shift ne the next week so I can like actually <laughs> sleep well or something and do some chores and all so I'll have time the next week probably if I like try to wake up at 6 a.m. because I, I would be like going back at like 9 maybe 10 and just straight back to sleep and wake up at like 6, 6 or 7 And then just like either record videos or <laughs> finish Witcher 3 <laughs> because that's been something I, I would finish it like a week ago but I just couldn't I really didn't have time it's, it's like I go back from work I uh, take a bath I watch an episode of Smallville and eat something during that and that's it, that was my entire day. Then I just hop on Discord with my friends and spend like one hour, maybe two, free if I was crazy that day. And that was literally my day. I just couldn't do anything. So I'm probably going to quit the next month <laughs> and just focus on, <laughs> focus on myself. <laughs> Nah, I, I, I haven't been to gym in like a long time and since this job takes a lot of my time probably this month is gonna be like I probably won't train like at all maybe some push-ups in home but that's it probably so maybe I wasted time uh, not, not time maybe I wasted money uh, for this month's uh, 
subscription, so to say. But yeah, the next month I'm just gonna like say I quit and just go home <laughs> or maybe straight to gym and then just record videos for you guys throughout the entire month straight maybe daily uh, probably not because like uh i have to pump some ideas i have to actually have some ideas and maybe not daily but the videos will be more freak much more frequent the next month so <laughs> <laughs> please bear with me <laughs> but yeah i have like a list of things i would like to talk about maybe just like it's gonna be a long video but like 100 people gonna see it maybe i'm just gonna yap and play community maps as the title says and sorry for this like long intro and i'm basically going off script it's like i didn't have time to write literally any script so basically it's like i have a list of like thoughts that i had during my my shift and i just like send them to myself on facebook and then i'm like i'm just gonna cook with it i guess <laughs> i got all the ingredients so i'm just gonna cook so yeah, first things first I would like to talk about is about my previous video about scrolling and how it literally gives you no value and all. And I just started to see that it's not the issue with the scrolling itself, it's about just bullshit content. Like you have content where everyone basically just contradicts themselves. At first you have videos about how no one is special and then you watch a video about a guy telling that he's special and he made it or something or about a guy telling you that everyone is special. And it basically scrambles your entire brain. Because like, you don't you don't know what to think anymore. Wait, wait, wait. Ugh. I'm just gonna cut it. <laughs> but through this, like, not knowing actually what to do, you are like... You, you, you don't know who you are anymore. You're like a collection of thoughts someone else said to you and that's it it's like no one thinks for themselves anymore as i said you have like bullshit content everywhere you have bullshit thumbnails and <laughs> i'm probably like uh guilty of this myself because i make like thumbnails like oh this is not good, this is bad, this is better or something. That makes clicks, right? Like the thumbnails make clicks. But at the same time when I just like catch myself scrolling on YouTube, mainly YouTube nowadays, because it's like uh, since the video about scrolling, I haven't been scrolling like for a week or something like that. And then I just like catch myself scrolling for like five seconds and i just quit the app and that's it and the same with youtube where it's like usually at work because when i'm at home i don't scroll like at all but when i'm at work it's sometimes it's like out of boredom because i don't have like tiktoks or some shit literally my phone is black and white so i just find myself scrolling on YouTube for like five seconds and I just get ultimately like angry not only bored but angry about like this opinion random bullshit opinions random bullshit I I saw a video uh, not video entirely I didn't click on it but I saw like the title 
that said like stop taking nice pictures like they're not nice and i'm like bro who hurt you that much that you had to make entire video spend your time recording it writing scripts and editing it telling that one particular person that made you angry that they shouldn't make nice photos because you don't like them and the video might be about like yeah uh, it's not about the photos themselves it's about enjoying the nature and you should stop taking out photos as i said i haven't watched it but just like looking at the thumbnail and the title made me reluctant to watch it so that's the job not done very well i guess because the thumbnail and title should do the opposite but as i said i was reluctant to do this and <laughs> i don't know the um what, what what's inside this video M maybe i watch it after i record this one but i'm probably gonna be disappointed anyway <laughs> because i usually like don't watch this type of content like at all like ma majority of my youtube is basically my subscriptions because i decided to basically delete everything and like i mean not uh, delete la like delete delete but i just don't have home page and i don't have shorts so it's basically i'm basically forced to watch my subscriptions and i have like 10 maybe 15 subscriptions i don't i don't know it yet because i was cleaning like a couple days ago i guess and i'm subscribing to some channels i don't watch anymore so my subscription feed is basically clean but other than that when i scroll on phone i have i still have these things and features like shots and everything because on phone i can just do this so i'm mainly spending my time on pc so that's nothing for me that i don't uh, i don't basically score on uh i don't watch youtube on phone right i basically do it on pc because <laughs> i have uh ad block and advertisements on phone are like the worst thing ever like you, you want to watch fucking asmr video for sleep and you get advertisement of a woman or a guy just screaming at your face and you like bump the volume up because you wanted to hear what the bitch is saying on the video right and you basically hear a guy screaming at you and you feel basically like woke up again so youtube please do something about it i mean like delete the advertisements on asmr videos or basically videos that want to help people like Imagine being in a scenario where you have to help someone and you don't know how but you have to do it quickly and you want to quickly watch a YouTube video how to like resuscitate or something, right? And you get fucking minute ad about nothing, about fucking fridge that you already own or something and the person dies. That's an extreme example because at the same time who would want to like watch youtube like that's something you shouldn't do in this situation maybe just like hold their head or something and basically call oh, 911 something but basically that's it so as i said i noticed um fuck ton of just like bullshit content and everyone is recording videos like yay we're not made for this or like enjoy nature and these videos usually don't have much views but some of them actually like pop up to like 500k or even above 1 million which is crazy for me that some people that basically like don't put any effort into editing their videos and are basically talking head or something with stumbling mumbling basically like me <laughs> not knowing entire english dictionary <laughs> uh, 
and they pop off for some reason. I don't know how it works. So with this video I'm probably gonna try it and it's probably not gonna work. And even if you made it made it this far to, into this video, like congrats I guess. Because at, at this point I'm probably talking to like one person or none at all. But yeah, let me just uh, check the notes again. And, like, who's to tell you what's right or wrong? Like, as I said, you have people contradicting, telling that you're special, telling that you have some kind of superpower or something, right? And why should you listen to them? Like, you, uh, you have to listen to some people in your life, probably, maybe, maybe not entirely, because <laughs> I mainly don't listen to anyone. But I have like role models, and I listen to their uh, teachings, their le entire religion or something, and it's basically like. You have to choose who you want to listen to, and you don't even have to listen to me right now, which is something like crazy because right now I'm telling you what you should do, and you're like, okay, should I do this or should I not? Should I do this or, or not? And I'm telling you that you shouldn't listen to anyone, but then I tell I'm telling you that you should listen to me, like in the uh, between the bars. Because it's like... <laughs> you shouldn't listen to me and you shouldn't listen to anyone else. Maybe your parents, if you like, respect them and they are in the position where you want to be in. Wow, this room is crazy. Wow. I played this map yesterday, so I probably know what to do. Like, I can go... Uh, with the stairs or just jump down but I haven't gone with the stairs oh I <laughs> I can't okay never mind but as I said you shouldn't listen oh and this is the flashlight <laughs> this is the flashlight part of the video where as you can see this room looks sick but when I turn on the flashlight it looks bad this staircase is good and now bad <laughs> but anyway uh, I shouldn't listen to anyone, even even me, probably. I mean, like, do what you want, right? Wow. This dude literally put some effort into it. Oh, oh okay, teleported me. <laughs> so, yeah, that ties to the, like, bullshit opinions and everything. And as I said in like previous part of this video that about uh, after the video about scrolling I haven't scrolled much anymore and it's like I'm holding myself accountable because I made a video telling you that it basically has no value you're wasting time and it's basically like shit content sh shitting into your brain literally and holding myself accountable is a part of this video like the previous one, not this one. <laughs> this one maybe too. But as I said, I haven't been scrolling that much. Probably like at all. Maybe like one shot here or two shots there. And that's it. So you should probably do basically do the same. Like tell your friends about like the scrolling. Not like uh, if, if they ask you, have you seen this TikTok and you're saying, like, oh, TikTok has bad uh, posture and gives you mouth breathing affinities or something. And uh, don't do that. Like when someone asks you, like, have you seen this TikTok? Just say no. What is it? Because one TikTok word won't hurt you, right? Because you don't even you don't even have this map. Uh, map, yeah, map. App. Um, but yeah, one TikTok won't hurt you, and when someone says like, 
uh, hey, uh, let's go for a beer. And you're saying, no, a uh, beer hurts my gains. I want to go to gym. Uh, I'm my own master. Um, the discipline. As I said, one TikTok won't hurt you, one beer won't hurt you. And basically, you can say, uh, no, I got other stuff going on this weekend. Or basically be like, yeah, I can I can get one and get the one with zero alcohol and basically like vibe with everyone else around you because you can do that. You, you uh, some people, especially in Poland, and some people at my work, uh, are actually like mad when someone is not drinking. Like they are mad that you're telling them that yeah I, I'm going with you to drink and they're mad that you're not drinking. Like. Why are they not happy with your presence? They they are happy when you're fucking poisoning yourself and literally drinking yourself to the point where you can't control yourself and that's when it's funny. That's when it, the entire action is about, right? When you just like go outside drunk as fuck with your friends in quotations because probably they're not your friends if they're forcing you to drink and you like rip off the bench with your bare hands off of the ground or something <laughs> that's funny but then you wake up the next day and you don't feel that funny anymore but it's a, it's about the drinking at all like here in our like community of suicide you can just like talk about it like oh i don't like drinking or <laughs> talk about if you have drinking problem but as I said, when someone asks you to like do something, just like say, yeah, I, I can do it like once or so some, some time, right? Because it won't hurt you. But still keep yourself in check where you don't, you're not saying like, yeah, I can get one beer and then go for like three or four. And you lose control over it say yeah i can get a beer and if they're not happy with your presence and if they are happy that you are drunk as fuck with them then just go home literally just like stand up say okay that's it for me uh, i had enough fun time guys uh, have fun without me and and just fucking go home literally it doesn't matter because it won't matter if they like you or something like uh, at my at my work for like three days it was all fine and all but for literally no reason i haven't done anything i was laughing at their unfunny jokes i was like there with them like working and even telling my own jokes right that no one laughed about because my jokes are usually like uh too complicated so to say <laughs> like not too complicated that i'm smart or something but i sometimes use references and like things from movies or video games so you actually have to like have certain knowledge in pop culture and video games and movies to get my jokes and these people <laughs> don't <laughs> don't get any of them. But yeah, for, for, for some reason, after like three days, they were like mad at me for something. Not like mad mad, but I felt that the atmosphere has changed. Like the first day, three days, it was like, yeah, we all have fun. The work is shit, but whatever. We were sitting in like a circle or something because we had a break and talking to each other and everything. And it felt right. But then after, uh, after like three days, it was like no one wanted to talk to me anymore. Shit, they, when I'm present, they don't even want to talk to themselves anymore that much. But as I said, these are even not even the people that I would want to be friends with. 
They probably won't ever watch this video. I hope for it. <laughs> I, I I forgot to play. Sorry for talking too much. Maybe I just like cut the video and just put some gameplay into it. Whatever. But as I said, the work is shit. So I'm going to quit. <laughs> I didn't mean to rhyme it. And the last thing is telling you that no, I mean I'm not I'm not the one telling you, but the content creators and on YouTube and every basically like your parents or someone telling you that you are behind in your life. Like there is uh, uh there is an idea that someone might be late bloomer or something which basically means that <laughs> you fucked up but now you you have time to fix everything because you can just say like i'm a late bloomer and basically don't do any work and say i'm a late bloomer so i'm just gonna like do actual work when I'm like 30 years old and I'm not saying that it's not present because there are probably some studies contradicting me telling me that there actually are some late bloomers so whatever but as I noticed especially in my workplace like these people are like way older than me and still work the minimum wage job with the same pension as I do. And I'm not saying that I'm better or something, but what I'm saying is that I would never want to be in their position. Ergo, why should I listen to them? And why should I even bother with being friends with them? But they are like, out drinking every weekend and basically like doing nothing with their lives like wh why should I bother <laughs> but about the late blooming it's like I could get that some of them are like yeah I'm, I'm only 28 years old I have like entire lifetime let me just change the map let me just change the map because this one's cool graphically, but I just struggle too much. <laughs> Let me just pick another map. I played some of them yesterday and some of them were fun, but not all of them. Like this one was fun. But let me just like pick this one, maybe. But yeah, as I was saying, like they are 28 years old or something and are basically making the same amount of money as I do and I wouldn't ever want to be in their position and I I get that they might be late bloomers and that yeah uh, everything is going to be all right and if it's not it's not the end and I get it I get the idea of it not the like entirety of the section or like if it's not the end like what if you die what if you become homeless like you might still struggle and strive for a better life yes but at this point it will be way harder and if you have depression right now you're gonna be even more depressed later So is it worth it to like <laughs> bother with it? With like being homeless or something? That's just my, my thoughts. But as I said about late blooming, I wouldn't want to be one. <laughs> I just, I, 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 and I'm not saying that I want to do everything quick and be uh, like a millionaire at 21. That's not the case either. I, I don't even know if I want to be a millionaire. Like, just give me 100k and that's it for me. Uh, like, 
I would have a time of a lifetime <laughs> with 100k. But right now, I, as I was thinking about it, it's like I wouldn't be like to be in their situation at all. And then you have YouTubers telling you about late blooming. Like they they make videos about like uh some random bullshit. They get paid immensely off of it and you have vi videos from like <laughs> young multimillionaires telling you about late blooming. So like you you don't get any experience from them because right now being 26 or 28 and getting some cash or something isn't late blooming like what i what i would call late blooming is like when you're 40 and still struggle financially and then after being 40 you get like promotions and you actually take life somewhat seriously and make something for yourself that's late blooming <laughs> because you can't be late bloomer if you already have thoughts about like making money and making a life for yourself and not drinking, no, not partying, not doing any bad habits. Like, how come you can be late bloomer when you have like 80 years more to live unless you get hit by something? But other than that, if you don't get hit by something or you, your legs won't get cut off or something, it's like, you're gonna live till you're like 90 or 80 at best. And that's a lot. So so to say, you you have entire life. You have like, till you're like 40 and you actually treat your, li your life and body right. You have actual, you actually might have time until you're like 45 or 50 to do everything you want. Because there are people that are like 80 years old and have better body shapes and better condition than 20 year olds, despite their age. So, is it late blooming? I don't, I don't actually fix, think so. Because like, you have YouTubers telling you about late blooming and maybe you are late bloomer putting these thoughts into your brain, brain and you think then like Yeah, I might be late bloomer. I might be uh, fucked in the head or something because someone told you that. But if you actually believe like, no, I'm not late bloomer. I just wasn't putting energy into things that I wanted to put energy into. And I was wasting my time. And once you stop wasting your time and you actually do what you want, even if it's like smoking weed or something, right? <laughs> Just think about the means that you can make money and a lot of money so you can afford this weed, right? Like even if you want to smoke weed, whatever, that's your life. Do anything you want about it. But think about things you can do to, to live your life to the fullest. And right now I just like feel that I'm forced to go to the work, right? Because I, I just need some quick money and that's it. <laughs> Not quick because it takes a month. <laughs> Sorry for my like nose problems. Like I, I, I just don't know what it, what it is because I don't have any sickness, I, I'm not sick, I just like... I don't know what it is, even. So, that's it, maybe. <laughs> like, throughout the day it gets normal, so I can breathe through my nose again. But other than that, it's like... I'm just... I'm acting sick. <laughs> but I'm not sick. So... As I was saying, like, live your life to the fullest and I'm actually forced, that, that's why I'm like sad right now. N not like sad when I'm depressed or something, like, maybe not, maybe not even sadness. I'm like angry. 
actually like angry that I have to go to work. Not because I have to work, but because I have to show up five or six days a week and I get paid <laughs> jump change. Like I literally, even with like the taxes and everything, I, I might have made a lot of more money, but because of the taxes and because like some rules or something, I won't. And that's fucked. And I just know that in the time, in the span of one month, I could make more money. But then it's like, how? How could I? Right? Because I, I focus on YouTube and I don't have a YouTube channel that makes money. So with that said, I have to go to work. And that's it. And that's why I'm angry at it. <coughs> Sorry. But that doesn't mean that I'm a late bloomer. Fuck, I'm only 21. I basically can't be late bloomer. Like, these types of videos are for like older guys, like, or even girls, whatever. Like, 30 or 35 or 40. But the younger guys watch it thinking about if they are late bloomer. Just like, oh, you didn't have sex at 17 when you were in high school. Yeah, because Call of Duty was out. I mean, like, probably sex and partying when you're 17 is cool. But yeah, playing cop with... Uh, with with my friends in Dying Light is cooler, I guess. Like, whatever. And actually, young guys think they are late bloomers. Which is... Which is fucked. Because no one is actually a late bloomer. You were just, as I said previously, you were, you were just wasting your time. And name it as it is. Because you can cope telling yourself I'm a late bloomer. Uh, probably in like five years or six, I'm probably gonna get all the things I want or, or something. And I'm a late bloomer, so everything is going for me. And then you don't put the work and time into the thing you want to achieve. And you think just like, oh, I'm a late bloomer, everything is going for me. Then, sorry, you're coping. You're wasting your fucking time. And as I said about like, sex and dying light, whatever. <laughs> it's like, you might, you, you might call me like late bloomer or something, but I was just wasting my time playing video games. Like, name these things by what they are. I was just wasting my time. In someone else's eyes. Because on my own. In my own eyes. I wasn't. And I still think I wasn't. Because I had great time. So why should I bother about someone saying to me like. Oh you're still a virgin or something. After like. Uh, talking to me. Or something. And. I don't care. Like, go bother someone else. Because I don't even have time for you. So, so yeah. <laughs> Be aware of people trying to tell you what you are. And actually like forcing you into thinking what you are not. And then you think like, oh, maybe I am a late bloomer. Maybe I am fucked because I did something that I wasn't supposed to at that range of age uh, while everyone else was having fun or something. No, that doesn't mean anything. You, you are living your life to the course of your own because you are making your life what you want it to be. You, 
basically living your life to the fullest, right? Not like to the fullest where you take every drug, uh, go to every party or something. But to the fullest, I mean, you're living your life with your own pace. If you want to do something, just do it. But yeah, that's it for me today. <laughs> that's like... I mean, I would like to play this intersection map because it's big and it's cool. I was playing on it previously. But this video is way too long and right now no one is watching. So I'm just gonna end it. And if, if you actually like watch this video, like you put it on your second screen and just listen to me talking, then thank you. I guess, <laughs> but who would want to listen to me for 40 minutes? But as I said at the beginning, I don't have time to make quality 5 minute videos for you guys to watch. I don't have like scripts, I don't have any anything other than that one video about Dying Light 3. I don't have anything prepared, but even with that, I still have to record the footage. I still have to make some script changes, <laughs> even write entire script, because all I have there is like some thoughts rather than entire script. So <laughs> there would be a lot of massive script changes. Oh no, I'm falling. But other than that, it's like, thank you for watching if you watched to the end. And I'm gonna just add some music in the post process. <laughs> so you can guys actually like enjoy this video more and I think that's it so the lesson here is that you shouldn't listen to anyone even myself and even probably to yourself because what you're saying to yourself is not what you actually think it's what other people put into your brain so be careful of that and stay out of social media so basically being social media free is the key for your mental well-being but yeah <laughs> thank you for watching